What's up? What's up? Stephen Johnson stocks back first day back. I made a very good short trade and then kind of give it back on a long trade. But this is the short trade. I took about 15%, made about 80 bucks, take from 500 bucks uh, on CTRV. So check it out. So this is CTV, CTRV. If you look back, it's got a history of reverse splits, dilution, really perfect, bad long term chart. Volume's not massive. We can see only like 20, 30, 40,000. It's already fell off its highs pre market, but this means I can't get a good entry. So we're playing at about 300% here. So just bear with me. It's a bit faster than usual. I'll talk you through the next 10 minutes. So you can see this kind of this whole bad long term chart. Even pre market, it's dipping. So I'm not in a rush to, to take it at the open because where's it going to go? Uh, I'm, I'm aiming for a spike at the open to short into. And if it washes, then there's not really much I can do with it because the risk reward just isn't there. So we get a good 20,000 volume there. Not big volume, 30,000 coming up. It's trying to wash, but it's not quite washing. It's holding. There's a few dip buyers there. Maybe some shorts are covering when it's not immediately kind of coming down. And I'm thinking, please spike. Hit the 120s, 130s. I'll shorten the 130s. I'll short more than the 140s, and I'll risk off the high of day. Uh, volume again very light. Sometimes you get a million shares in the first minute. We're only getting 80,000, which means there's not many buyers. But again, if it washes, I'm going to get from 112 to 105. It's only a couple of percent, and it could spike a couple of percent. So the risk reward isn't there to take the short now. Just checking the top percent gain, I've seen what's going on. Not much is going on. A little bit boring. Um, again, if you get this trade in the kind of the 130s, it's fine. Uh, I'm just checking the longer term chart there to see where it is. Again, a lot of people are tempted to chase this down, but there's no risk reward. You have to just wait. 100,000 volumes, not a lot. And I think this is a two minute chart. So we're just waiting, not a lot happening. It's no play right now. Uh, you're seeing that the bid's kind of, the bid's a bit heavy. We're seeing the 105s. 104s, but then look at this big green volume candle coming in now. It's there's a lot of emphasis and push on the 107s there, and you can see the third candle. The volume's green, and we're getting this big push. You've got the 108s going. You've got the 109 starting to go on. Just putting VWAP on there to see if it can get past VWAP. Now you've got 110s, 111s. Look at that big volume candle. All of a sudden, this third candle is bigger than the previous two. Now that's unusual. Because it, the, the biggest volume candle should always be in the first few minutes. So now we're pushing up and I'm just looking. I've got a little short order. So I take a starter in the 120s. And I've got another order in the 130s. So my first short there is in the 120s. And, and I'm kind of thinking, right, I'll add another short in the 130s, 140s. And I'll be risking off the 140s. Now, this is the very start of the move still, so we just have to wait and see what happens. And you'd expect it might support on VWAP, it might support on that little support level. And I'm trading very, very small just to get back in the groove. And I'm expecting that this could make a higher high, it could make a lower high, it could triple top, it could do anything right now. So I'm just taking a small starter position because I need to prepare for anything. This is the very start and early days of the trade. I've took a little bit off because I accidentally put too big an order in, so I've just covered a couple of hundred because I only wanted to have 200 shares, maximum like 600, 700. I don't want to be in more of a third of a position right now. Now we can see the volume's kind of fading, so I'll probably switch to a five minute chart soon to see what's going on. Here's the kind of the higher low push. Now if it has a higher low push, the next risk level is like the 140s, 145s. I'm thinking I'll probably, I'm only in about a third, but I might even take it all off if it breaks the 125s. But right now it's looking a bit wiggy, it's looking a bit toppy, the volume's not really pushing through. You see this new volume candle is a bit, a little bit light, it's holding around VWAP. And this is, on the, this is on the two minutes, it's kind of struggling, so I switched to the fives, and the five tells a lot more. Now in the fives we're getting this push, it's bigger volume than we've had previously, it's trying to break through, but we'll have this kind of clear double top. So for me, I'm putting cover orders into thinking um, I might get out here. I might cover if it breaks through. I'm at least going to size down. 
Now, when it pushes through here, I'm thinking, right, if it holds here, I'm out. If it, if it holds above this high, I'm out. But I'm going to give it a second, and then it, it rejects hard back down, which shows that it's a little bit weak. So again, I'm not going to do anything. You can see I've only got 100 shares. I'm, I'm just waiting to see what happens. I'm out kind of most of the size. And if it kind of makes a new high a day, I'm, I'm probably completely out. I'll have a new risk. I'll be shortened towards the 140s. But this is really telling when I look at the five minutes, like I can't really see what's going on in the two minute chart. So I look at the five minute chart and I can really see that it's had the morning push, give it all back. And then it's had the second push on the fives. So let's see what the second push does. If it, if it really pushes on the second push of the fives, then we know we've got something on our hands. But the most important thing on this five minute chart is the volume is not as high as the previous candle. When we look on the fives. Like the volume was 800,000 on the previous five minute chart. And on this one, it's only 300,000 and we're a few minutes into the five minute chart. So it feels like it's gonna fail because if the volume's not there, the buyers aren't there and it will fail. So I add a little bit there thinking it's gonna come down. And then true enough, the weak volume confirms. I add a little more because I'm thinking this is gonna fail. It's not got enough volume to push through on the five minutes. And I'm just waiting for that rejection. Waiting patiently. I've sized up a little bit more, I think, by this point. We've got the wicks. It looks weak. Now, that's one, one bearish indicator is the wicks. The second bearish indicator is the weak pre-market. The third bearish indicator is there's not a lot of volume. It's starting to fail. And then there's the wash. Now it's starting to come down. It's starting to test again on VWAP. I'm just seeing what it looks like on twos. And it's starting to hold here. We'll skip ahead soon because it just goes into a period of consolidation and right now I've, I've got a small position I've added a little more when the five minute candle looked weak so I'm in about half size here and I'm just waiting to see if it's going to wash out or if it's going to try and test high of day again quick other scan I look at uh, DDE this was a terrible long that I took generally these high of day breaks wake every time I took this long and I got stubborn and I held it so I ended up flat for the day I should stick to shorten CTRV is just consolidating. There's a big bid on the 119s. There's a big bid on the 115s. They're trying to hold it together. I'm just patiently waiting to see if it will fail off. It will test high of days. Again, on fives, I mean, are we going to get a triple top here and a fail? Are we going to get a triple top and a push? I'll generally use this trend line as my risk from the pre market high to the, the high at the market open on the fives. And if it pushes through here, I think it's a trend break. Not a lot happening. Volume's kind of fading. On the two minute, it's looking a bit wicky again. I'm looking for, I'm marking out new resistance points, thinking what was the high of the day of the first morning push when it had a little bit of volume. Again, I mean, this is a bit of an ABCD. You've got the, the, the push, the pullback, the higher low. I mean, this is an ABCD for it to run. Uh, so it could go either way here. Um, I'm only in uh, half size. I'm prepared for it to go either way, but I am saying that the volume's fading and I know the overall chart pattern is very bearish. So I think if anything, this ABCD will fail and it will come down. Got a nice kind of 120 average here. And I'm looking for like the 103s, 105s to take a good 15%. And of course, my risk is kind of the 130s. So I'm risking like 5, 10 cents to make 20 cents. Starting to wash, starting to come down, starting to fail. Just being patient with it. 15's hugely propped. You see that 23,000, 26, 27, 28,000 on the 115's on the, on the ask? It's trying to be propped, but it's always good to just be careful and, and, and patient with these. It might retest, it might double bottom, but either way, if, if, it, if it pops back up, it pops back up. More than likely, I've got the chart and the history on my side, it's more than likely to fail. Level 2 games right now, big bids on the 15s, big bids on the 18s, people are trying to scare each other out. On the 5s, there's a lot of fade in volume, it's starting to crack, but it's going to take its time to crack. 16's got 116's 22,000, but it's getting hammered. All, all, the, all the askers, all the, all the transactions are coming through on the bid. Uh, we're seeing the bid starting to get hammered now on the 116's. 
once this folds, it should be it. The volume's big and it's all selling pressure. So all these people who've been buying previously, they're all getting out now. I can see on the five minute, a lot of people are exiting scared. So it should be a matter of time before this cracks. I'm, I'm up like 50 bucks. I take about 80 bucks from a $500 position. So I really take about 16% on this by really being careful. And uh, But unfortunately, I take a, a trade on uh, DDE, which doesn't work out and I'm stubborn and I hold it. I'm very good at short selling. I'm not very good at long selling. Look at that bid, 23,000 on the 116s. Ask is getting annihilated. 10,000 left on the 115s there. It's getting smashed. It keeps on adding. Someone's trying to prop this. Now we're up to 18,000 on the 115s. And I think we'll skip in a second and you'll see more the end result. This stock does go down to the 103s, 102s. Uh, and I take a, a good, a very good risk reward on this. But it's just a matter of sizing up, sizing down, having the nice, having the right risk. And once I really get the hang of this, I'll just start sizing up much bigger again. And I'm very good at trading. I just needed a little break. Look at that 35,000 on the 115s. You don't be scared by that. It is a little bit scary that someone's soaking it up to try and push it up. But ultimately, I'm not into level two games. I'm going to play the big picture. I play the big charts. 41,000 now on the 115s. 32,000 on the 116s. It's a real war between whoever's manipulating this. Quick check on the 115s. It looks very bearish on the 15s. We had the push, and it's just a rejection ever since. Quick look on the 15s. Volume's fading. It's textbook, it's going to crash. Fives, we've got the clear double top uh, in, the, in the opening, kind of, in the opening few minutes. And here's the wash. Down to... And, I, and I, it's showing that I'm like unrealized 30 bucks, but I'm down like 50, 30 on DDE and 50 on CTRV. That's where the problems come in. And this watch And if you like the shizzle, comment, love the live trades. And I think I'll keep these live trades coming every week just for a change. So comment you love the live trades or comment you love the standard recaps. Let us know what, what.